No yards against the Eskimos. The Argos have the football at the Edmonton 45. Just under 11 minutes to go. And a seven-point Argo lead. An impressive performance tonight by the Argo defense. And Michael Bishop has thrown two touchdown passes to Andre Toppin. And Bishop looking downfield again with a marker down. Well, the pass falls incomplete. Yeah, it looks like it's holding Toronto. As we check in with Danny McManus inside the huddle. Let me know. Illegal block. Hands to the face. Toronto number 56. 10-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Chad Folk called, and uh, we'll get to Danny momentarily. The veteran Argo center penalized, so they march it back to midfield. 172nd game for Chad Folk in the Canadian football league. 11-year career. First and 20. Bubble! Bruce. Bubble, blow it up! And Bruce is 15 back. Or check that 10 back to the original line of scrimmage. Which is really the expectations offensively in that kind of situation is to get about half of it back. And basically Arlan Bruce is getting closer to where I start calling him Bruce Almighty again. With plays like this. One miss there. Bounce to the outside. Quad injury early in the season. Shoulder injury of late. Five catches, 41 yards on the night for Arlen Bruce. Second and close to 10. Pressure on, and Bishop just gets away. And the ball is dropped by Andre Talbot, who should have had that one. Yeah, he should have. And those are the ones the quarterbacks really want because they know they have to take a, a hit. And Bishop throws a strike even though he knows that Adam Braidwood is coming from the backside. Braidwood down at the bottom right corner of your screen. He's free off the edge. Steve Morley can't get there. So Bishop knows he's going to pay the price. But he throws a good throw right into the middle to Andre Talbot. And Talbot puts it on the ground. Bishop thought he should get a penalty. I wondered about that. Braidwood with the late shot. Does not draw the penalty, and Prefontaine will try again for the Coffin corner. Just missed it on his last attempt. It went for a single of 59 yards. We'll try and tuck it from inside the pile. Oh, it's blocked! The Eskimos get a big break on a block kick. And they'll take over on the Argo side of half. I think it's Ron Warner right down Main Street on the Toronto Argonauts who goes through a couple guys to get there. Does the old defensive pass rush move with a swim. Watch him in the middle. Swim move there to split that double team. He sidesteps the personal protector and gets his right hand on the football. Ron Warner has been fierce of late. He had three tackles and two sacks last Sunday. A huge play here, and the Eskimos take over at midfield. The fours calls the quarterback draw. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard. But the big defensive tackle has created the fourth turnover of the night. And the Edmonton Eskimos hang around. And you have to give this defense credit, and in that case, the special team. But the Eskimo defense ranked six, seven, or eight in most categories. Absolutely. They started to stiffen in recent weeks. Second and eight. And the fours, under pressure, escapes. And there's a completion game up here for the ball. He'll be stopped short of the first down. Michael O'Shea in on the tackle. But LaFour is trying to deal with that heavy Argo rush. Pretty nice job by Stephon LaFour to 
avoid the pass rush because the Argos really should have had him, even though it was maximum protection. Now with those stunts, the Eskimos are bringing in Kamal Peterson, a receiver, to help out in the blocking. LaForce buys himself to time, but with that ball coming, making Gaylor come back, he lost the two yards that he needed to get the first down. It's third and two, and midway through the fourth quarter, the ball on the Argo 48, and Danny Machocha leaves the offense out. They're going for it on third and two. Straight ahead. It's going to be close. Argo's celebrating. But I think he's close enough for a measurement. The Eskimos go with double tight end formation, so that's really an indication that they are going to run. They have Matthew Bertrand at one tight end over here, and Maurer here, the other tight end. That's double tight end run set. The Argos have everyone up in the line of scrimmage. Now the cutback from Tyler Ebel makes the first one miss there. Fletcher gets it close, and it's where they put it down, and they're not going to get it. Nope, they're put short, and the former Edmonton Eskimo draft choice, Michael O'Shea, with the tackle, forcing the turnover on downs. And the Eskimos have thrown the challenge flag. They want to check the spot. And they can on third down, but it's Fletcher off the edge who makes the play. He comes around and trips.